Hey guys, welcome back to The Unsavvy Budgeter. If you're new here, welcome to the channel and thank you for supporting. If you haven't heard the recent news lately where we talked about how we got laid off, make sure to check out our last week's video right here. And for this video, I wanted to talk about our efforts and what we've done for the month of July to save money as well as earn money. And so if that interests you, make sure to watch till the end on how we saved slash earned almost $5,000 for the month of July. But first things first, I want to give a huge shout out to the angel that bought me a coffee. This coffee is thanks to you and I am so thankful for your contribution. So thank you. In our last video, we briefly talked about this, but when my husband got laid off, we went into emergency planning mode, literally the moment we got the news. So what that meant was we decided to talk about a financial plan and see what we could do immediately to make our situation better. And one of those things was making sure that we immediately changed our 401k contributions as well as our additional tax withholdings. Since I'm not working, this really only went into effect for my husband. He immediately went online and changed his contributions to 401k, meaning no more money going into 401k savings, as well as no more additional tax withholdings taken out of his paycheck. This pretty much went into effect for the next payroll because we did it in advance and we were proactive enough to make sure that we gave enough of a window time to have that take effect. So if you're in this situation and you wanna do something similar, it's really easy to do whether you use ADP or whatever HR software that your company is currently using, go ahead and hop online and make those changes immediately. And you'll start seeing those changes go into effect within the next one or two paychecks. So with us, because it went into effect immediately, with the following paycheck, we already saw that this gave us back $1,188 back on his paycheck. Because he gets paid bi-weekly, that meant that we were able to get this money back twice a month, and that gave us a total money return of $2,376. The next change we were able to do is my husband signed up for on-call. If your company or your position allows for on-call, it's a great additional income for you to sign up for. So with his team, he did have the opportunity to join on call and that was some extra money that was able to be earned because when he does his on call shifts, they last for about a week and it means that he's covering any incidents that happen during the after business hours. So by doing so, this meant that each time that he did this, he was able to get about $450 to $550 per on-call rotation, and this is after taxes. There's four people on his team, including himself. That means that he's able to do on-call rotation once a month. So that's expected income that we'll be able to get every month. And there's going to be additional changes to his team. A lot of his teammates are from the UK and they've already submitted their resignations due to the oncoming layoffs. And that means that his on-call rotation will probably be more frequent instead of only once per month. We also feel a little bummed that his teammates from the UK are able to secure employment at other companies much faster than he is. So we're not really sure what the difference is, but it just seems like maybe the UK economy might be different or just how the layoffs are handled in the UK is different, but it seems like they're having a lot more luck in securing a new position compared to him and his other teammate from the US. We're not experts on how things work in the UK. So for our UK watchers, if you have any additional info or wanna share anything, please feel free to add it to the comments. The third thing we've been doing is making returns, canceling our subscriptions, as well as making price matches on things that we do need to purchase. How did we go about doing all this? First of all, we went through all our credit card statements and reviewed our expenses and marked the things that 
could be returned as well as canceled. By going through my statements for the month of July, I was able to identify items that I re could return to stores like Costco, Target, or Walmart, and Amazon, knowing that their return policy is about 30 to 60 days. And when it came to my subscriptions, I read the fine print on what I needed to do for my subscriptions. And even if it said that I couldn't cancel or get a refund if the month has already been charged, I went ahead and called support or got on chat with support anyways to figure out if I could do this or not. And out of all the times that I did get a hold of support, I was able to get my refund anyways. Even when it came to going out with other people and having to make purchases, don't be shy to ask to split the purchase or even ask for a reimbursement. That's what I did and I was able to get my friends and family to be generous with either reimbursing me or just splitting the cost evenly. With our refunds alone, we were able to get $660.69. By me calling and canceling my subscriptions and asking for the money back, I was able to get $663.76. So in total, we ended up saving about $1,324.45. If you're interested in hearing tips on how I go about getting my refunds or getting my price matches, I've been experimenting a lot with doing my Costco returns as well as price matches, um, not just only at Costco, but at Target and Walmart. And I'll be doing a separate video for that. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell and stay tuned for that video coming out soon. The fourth thing we did was making sure to take advantage of offers and gigs. The first offer I took advantage of was a Venmo offer where all I had to do was make a Venmo request to a friend and Venmo would give me $5 for fulfilling that. So I ended up just requesting $5 from my husband. Once he refilled that request and paid me $5, Venmo gave me an additional $5 just for doing that. So it was the easiest five bucks that I made. The other offer I took advantage of was doing a meal kit offer where I got about $17 back from my credit card. This was something that I needed to purchase because I ended up having a last minute trip back to California to see my mom because I needed to help take care of her after her surgery. So my husband is prone to not cooking as well as ordering out. So I wanted to make sure that I did my best to prevent him from doing that. So with this meal delivery kit, it was really easy for him to make his own food. And with the savings, it ended up being about $4 per meal, which really isn't bad in our book because we would have spent a lot more normally on food. And the last thing I did was a gig. I ended up asking my friend if I could work part-time for him and help him with his company. He ended up allowing me to work temporarily for him um, doing some marketing and doing that alone gave me $500. So this gives me a grand total in offers and gigs of $522.07. And lastly, my husband has been working hard to make our home more energy efficient. For those of you that aren't familiar with Georgia in the summertime, it is really hot and humid here, so we've been figuring out ways to run our home at a higher temperature so that we could save on our electricity bill. My husband has been going around with a thermal camera to figure out where our potential air leaks are in the home, and by doing so, he's been able to identify a lot of areas where he could be able to seal the gaps, repair the ductwork, as well as improving insulation in the home. And just by doing these simple things with stuff that we already had in the home, we're able to save a dollar per day just by running our home a few degrees warmer than as we had back before we did all these changes. Before we were running our home at 72 degrees Fahrenheit and now we're able to run our home at 75 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. By doing these changes, it really didn't feel like the home was that much warmer at all because we had made major improvements with the air leaks and therefore not as much cool air is leaking or warm air coming into the home. So it really didn't feel like a major change at all temperature wise. So I was so happy that he did this and by him saving a dollar a day on our electricity usage, we have been able to save about $30 this month. 
If energy efficiency is important to you and you want to hear the details on what changes we've made, then make sure to let us know in the comments if you want us to make a separate video about this where we can go more in detail about those changes. Other opportunities we're working on is growing our YouTube channel, starting a small business, and lastly, working on reselling items on Facebook Marketplace and Mercari. We've had success in reselling items before and we thought that we'd tap back into it and resell stuff starting with things we don't need in our home. So that's all I have for this video. If you guys found it beneficial in any way, please support the channel by giving it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out my other videos and make sure that you're subscribed so that you could stay tuned for my future videos. I'm going to be focusing a lot more on just our journey with being laid off and the changes that we're doing to make our situation better. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you guys in the next video.